Hi, welcome to Hardy Classics, the garage, or the museum. That's where the museum is here, surrounded by globes, as you can see. And uh, this is my happy place. Talking of happy places, uh, we're in February now, and January's just just gone. Before you know it, we'll be springtime, and we'll be out in the cars trying them out. This time of year, I can't stand it. It's rubbish. There's no auctions on. There's no car shows on. It's just no good. So this video, I want to show you a few bits and pieces that we've done over the winter. A few cars that we've sold and where they've gone to. And uh, just looking forward to the summer. First out the blocks this year was the uh, Bedford Double Plus. We'd had this van quite a long time. And I thought it would, was one of those things. It was so rare. It would have just flown out the door. Another van, another car that we've sold over the telephone. People just love watching the videos and the descriptions. I try and make the descriptions as real as I can. And uh, this one's off down to Leicester to a lovely guy. He's in the building job. Obviously, the van, you know, it reminds him of when he was starting out or he was a young fella or he's nostalgic about it. And I get a lot of people buying vans like that. I'm the same. I look at a van and I just get all nostalgic about it. But it was a lovely van, really rare. Bedford HA double plus. Like I say, we'd had it a bit, and I don't know why, because it was a super rare van, but not everybody's into vans. So that one's away, gone, down to Leicester. Next car that we were working on in the workshop was uh, a really rare car. In fact, we believe it's the only body type of car of this make left. It was an early 20s Gwyn. Gwyn was a really early manufacturer of motor cars and then went on to make uh, water pumps, I believe. We had this car in our storage facility. What we try and do if we're, if we're buying cars off people or at auctions, if there's something really rare and we fancy it and it's a bit of a project, we'll buy it, put it away, and then when we're quiet, we'll bring it out. This one spares availability for this car. Or it's not available. You know, you either have to make them or or, or search forever to find any. Um, we've got this one up and running. We're selling it as a project, and I'm sure it'll make somebody uh, a really worthwhile project. I'm thinking again, we've sold a few abroad, and I'm thinking this one might go abroad, somewhere like Australia or even America or somewhere. Talking of project, we bought another interesting little project, uh, which I'm not sure whether we'll do it or we'll, we'll just sell it as is for the next man to do. Uh, we bought a Heinkel Trojan three-wheeler. I've already got one of these in the museum, a complete one. And when I saw it come up for sale, I thought, mm, might be a good idea to buy this one. And we've got one to copy off, you know, for bits of trim and things like that. Uh, fittings you can't get. Um, it seems complete. Uh, it's got all the glass and everything with it, spare floor with it. And to be fair, for not a lot of money, you would get yourself a bubble car. And, and bubble cars at the minute, they're not, they're not on fire. You know, a few years ago, you wouldn't have been able to touch a good restored Heinkel or Trojan uh, IZ for £20,000. You wouldn't have been able to touch one. Now you can get a, a really good one anywhere from £12,000 to £15,000. We sold a one last year. One of the best ones I've ever seen, and, I, and we sold it at an auction, sold it at Matheson's uh, through Derrick, and I think we achieved £15,000, and it was a really, really nice car. But again, if you haven't got £15,000, you've got £4,000, you want to buy a project, chuck a couple of thousand pounds into it, you know, you're going to get yourself a cheap public car. Going back to the commercial theme, Another one that's landed up in the garage is the Morris 1000 van. Another one that we had in the storage uh, unit. Another one that I was going to sell as a doer, a project for somebody. And we've decided to finish this one ourselves. Uh, this one, someone's thrown a lot of money into this little van. It's got a brand new galvanised chassis, brand new disc brakes, fuel tank, stainless steel exhaust, reconditioned engine, reconditioned gearbox. Uh, it's a really, really nice van. It was a stalled project. It was all put back together. And to be fair, 
if I'm honest, they've rushed the paintwork on it. Paintwork's not 100%. It's not concourse. It's nice, but you wouldn't win a concourse show with it. It's not full of filler. It's just... It's just nice when I look when I do when we do the mirror or I buy them in. I usually buy the best of the best. This one, it's not the best, but it will make a good good van. And the the best part about it is underneath. It's unbelievable con condition underneath. It's fantastic, right new. The next little car out the door sold was the little Rover Nine horsepower that we recommissioned on. On one of the videos you might have seen a uh, lovely rare little 20s car and i'm fed up with people slagging 20s cars off pre-war cars saying they're not worth a carrot it's a load of rubbish they're not getting scrapped but you know people are collecting them and uh the reason i said about the gwyn going abroad was this little car was uh was sold to a guy in ohio it was shipped out uh kingstown shipping shipped it out and it's on its way to the states to a big rover collector over there So another one to go across the pond was the little Austin 7 that we had. Um, we didn't have this one long. Came from a deceased estate. Uh, lovely, lovely little car. We had a couple of UK buyers uh, interested in it, but nobody was coming up with the goods. Again, same week as the Rover. Guy sends an email, you know, sends a wire transfer with the money. Um, arranged the shipping, Kingstown shipping again. And that little car's off to North Carolina. So from four wheels on to two wheels, a uh, little update, the Suzuki, we've finally got this up and running. Again, another bike that's been in long-term storage, super condition, so, super bike actually. Great little bike, great summer bike, nice lightweight, 350, plenty of power, looks the part, and it's a UK registered bike uh, all its life, so it's not an import. It's been in the UK, nice, nice thing. A modern classic, the XR3. Possibly. This one sold off up to Scotland. Guy sent a driver down for it and uh, drove it away on the trade plates faultlessly. Lovely car, like I say. Not not a concourse car. You know, not 100% immaculate, but a nice nice user. You know, for, for decent money, a good value. Classic car that I think is only going to go up in price. And finally, one I picked up uh, yesterday down in Dorset. Trip down to Dorset, the sun was shining. Uh, my part of the country, I love it down there, everybody knows that. And if you see the video, you'll see a nice blue sky. And when you drive back, you get the weather, be the skies go grey. Um, we picked this lovely, lovely original little TR3 up. What a lovely little car. A few blemishes on, the, if I'm honest, a few blemishes on the bodywork. Few little battle scars, but the car was restored back in 1980. Body off restoration. Uh, it's had a lot of engine work done, um, new diff, uh, bits and pieces here and there. It's just a nice, nice British sports car. I've actually had this one out today for a runabout, and it drives absolutely fantastic. It's really quick, responsive, brakes are good. We could, we obviously, we'll put it in the workshops and check it out. We could go full out and strip the body off and repaint it but we're not going to we're just going to sell it as it is in its own clothes you know just a genuine british sports car uh just waiting for a bit of sunshine now to take them out and enjoy them a bit more well there you have it it's the winter roundup hardy classics and bye bye now if you like this video and you want to see more of the same subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on facebook instagram or twitter or visit our website, hardyclassics.co.uk. Bye-bye now.